guys, today we are driving a 2021 Chevrolet Corvette C8. It's been modified. We have a Z51 package here painted in Sebring orange. We are at MRT Performance. It's actually the owner of Scott's car. It is absolutely stunning inside and out. This is the first modified Corvette that we've driven. We're on a set of lowering springs and we have a straight through exhaust. Well, at least straight through after the catalytic converters. We've driven a bunch of C8 Corvettes over the last couple of years, and my only complaint with them has been that they're a little bit on the quiet side. Well, MRT Performance here in Plymouth has uh, fixed that. They have their street race exhaust system on this C8 Corvette. It's an H-pipe, so you retain that really nice low American muscle sound from the 6.2 liter V8. But on the street, it's actually pretty mild. You can live with this on a daily basis, and then when you get into it, it absolutely rips. It's super loud. You can hear from the startup and some of the idle revs that it finally brings a proper noise to the C8. This exhaust has the Black Ops ceramic coating on the tips. Looks really nice, really sharp, a little bit extra style there. Speaking of which, the owner has also gone ahead and painted the low rear diffuser in Sebring Orange and color matched most of the rear spoiler, except for the lip. I think it looks really good. Adds a little bit more exotic flavor to the C8 Corvette. Looks pretty good on lowering springs too. This is not lowered on the stock bolts. It's actually a spring setup. MRT has also carbon dipped the wheels. This is a hydrographic process. And just to make things extra exciting for them while cleaning the wheels, they've painted the inside barrels to match in uh, Sebring Orange. Let's take a quick peek at the engine bay. Also a little bit more carbon dipping and paint work on that engine cover, covering the 6.2 liter V8. Makes just under 500 horsepower, 495. This probably makes a little bit more with the H-pipe exhaust. Of course with the Z51 package, we get upgraded cooling, makes it a pretty track capable Corvette. We spent a bunch of time in one of these a couple of years ago, took it out to Gingerman Raceway for a day, didn't have any issues with cooling. It just took lap after lap and continued to impress us throughout the entire day. This has the stock alignment on it. It's not uh, the track alignment from GM. So uh, we've got a little bit more of a street friendly setup. This is meant to be kind of a dual duty street and maybe occasional track car. A couple track days a year, every now and then, the owner will take it out but for the most part, this is a really a pretty ultimate daily driver and it looks and sounds the part. Really nice looking black interior on this spec. We have orange seat belts and I believe these are the competition seats with the carbon seat backs. This is not the convertible, so to remove the roof, you have to pull this out and this stores back in the trunk. All right, let's head out and see how this sounds on the street. Put us into drive. It's been a while since I've driven a C8 Corvette and it just reminds me how much I love these cars. Just one of the most enjoyable and engaging cars on sale today. GM did such a great job tuning this eight speed dual clutch. And like I said at the beginning of the video, really my only complaint with this seat has been that it's just a little too quiet, a little too toned down. The exhaust sound doesn't match the uh, pretty characterful looks of the car. You can see here, just cruising around, we're in tour mode. The exhaust is pretty mild. You hear it behind you, but it's not overbearing or droney. Another advantage to the system is that it saves quite a bit of weight. This is the aggressive system. This is the street race system. This is straight through after the cats. There's also a muffled exhaust setup that MRT offers. But honestly, if I had a seat, I'd probably pick this just because you kind of get the best of both worlds. Very few compromises in terms of daily drivability and comfort. 
really that's what you want out of an exhaust system. You don't want it to be overbearing or too obnoxious. But when you get into it, you want to be able to enjoy it.
just lovely. Something to consider if you decide to lower your Corvette, whether on stock bolts or on lowering springs like this owner has. What do you guys think? Should we do a launch control real quick? this drive mode selector here but you also have this quick access Z mode that you can set to a bunch of different parameters and adjust your traction control settings stability control all of the above this isn't my car so we're gonna leave everything on today Classify it for sale today. Prices on, the, prices on these are starting to level out a little bit. They're starting to calm down finally after a couple years. We've got the C8 Z06 coming out soon. That's going to be wild. But honestly, this Z51 package is just about perfect for what it is. Add on a couple of light modifications if you want to lower it a tad or throw out a louder exhaust. Would highly recommend this MRT system. This sounds really nice. Wakes things up just enough. I'm 
always amazed at how soft these Corvettes are in tour mode. They just kind of float over everything. They ride like a like a luxury car almost, except in some ways better. These magneto rheological dampers are almost magical on how well they work. I just drove a Camaro SS1 LE and it's a pretty good pretty good effort on the Camaro's part, but this Corvette really just takes it to the next level. It's so refined, so sophisticated. When this car came out, it just reminded me of something that was European and its its level of quality and build and feel just driving down the road. The interior quality is amazing. The ergonomics are really user-friendly and simple. This Bose sound system is fantastic. As a daily driver, a weekend toy, or even just a track weapon, the C8 has proven to be a fantastic, fantastic car. One of my favorite cars that I've driven in the last few years. I would happily put one of these in the garage someday. I'd be curious to hear the uh, milder, muffled system from MRT. I'm sure on the outside it's pretty gnarly, pretty loud. But from in here, this is just about perfect, volume-wise. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and big thanks to MRT for hooking us up today with their C8 Corvette, their shop Corvette. It is a proper machine, and so great to get back behind the wheel of one of these cars. I think uh, as it sits with this exhaust and a few of these just tasteful aesthetic mods, this is just a great, great car and uh, I'm sure the owner has got a lot of enjoyable miles out of it already too. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos on this on the Winding Road Magazine YouTube channel. And I do believe we're also filming another uh, Mach 1 Mustang today. So we've got some more fun stuff coming for you from MRT. A lot of V8 content uh, this year from MRT. Big thanks to them. They've been a great supporter of the channel and been awesome to work with. Again, local shop here in Plymouth, but they sell everything nationwide. Lots of exhaust systems for a variety of vehicles. We'll end this video with a little bit of a rev and that'll be it. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention on the walk around is that they've also fitted this C8 Corvette with honeycomb grills protecting the radiators and heat exchangers. Definitely a must-do mod for the C8. Makes a big difference. Anyway, that was a fun one today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video.